Hello fellas, welcome back. I've just been flicking through Instagram on the set A there and I've seen a lot of a follow called RS Jeremy and she put a picture up of this car that was in the thumbnail and it's coming up for auction. And I just wanted to have a look at it with you and just give you some of my thoughts on it really, do you know what I mean? Just, we'll have a look, we'll see what the crack is with it. Cause it's a bit unique, it's a bit of a unique colour. The never made three door Cos Cosworths in this colour that only ever came in white, black and moonstone blue. So I'm recording it on my laptop, like my screen, so we'll flick through together and we'll, ju we'll just have a look at it, do you know what I mean? So as you can see, it says 1992, which is the wrong year for a start. For Cosworth, it should be 1987, I think there was a couple on 86 and 88, they were mainly like D-Reg. I think I've seen one or two on C, and there was a couple of E's, but mainly they were all D-Reg. 92, what's that, like an N or an M or something? I don't know. I didn't know. But it says estimated price 35 to 45 grand, which is about the going rate for a three door Cosworth. What it does say is the odometer reading, right, is only 965 miles, which is nothing. Two litre engine, it says there, manual gearbox, colour metallic red, like I say, it was never made in metallic red. Interior, it says black leather. I have had a look at these pictures and it hasn't got a black leather interior. But it says it was commissioned to be and built for Dave Brody which is an XBTCC driver for his own personal use. Four-wheel drive, they were never made in four-wheel drive, they were only ever two-wheel drive. The three doors, the were sapphires, they were four. But let's see, it's less than 1,000 miles from new, 360 brake horsepower. They were only, I think they were about two, two ten-ish when they came out. It says RS500 on the back and it has got the spoiler, the top spoiler, the lower spoiler and the front bumpers. It hasn't got the engine. It hasn't got like the turbo anyway. It hasn't got the turbo and it hasn't got the injectors. It could have the engine block because it is a like differences on the block itself. Like a, it's like a sapphire colour this. Like a magenta. Not the colour I would pick for a three door Cosworth but a hey, each of the own. Standard wheels. It looks like it's got a stainless steel exhaust. Standard interior there. You can see it's got the four wheel drive. I think it looks like four wheel drive gearbox to me anyway. Because the, the gear stick always looks a bit, a little bit stumpy on the four wheel drive ones. Looks like it's had a phone fitted at some point. To be honest, if it was my car and I was putting this up for auction, I would try and find a phone just to cover them screw walls. But hey, it's not my car. There's the engine bay. It looks like it's got a four wheel drive header tank, which works, does the job, but it's not what would have been on a three door Cosworth. See there, the rotor cover and a turbo. That should be red, the rotor cover, by the way. Not that it matters. Like, this car was never like a Ford built car, so it kind of doesn't doesn't really matter what's on it as such as it's just this is just like a someone's built this have just said hey I've, I've got or Dave Brody at least he's just built this to his own spec and he? he's just had a bit of fun with this aftermarket heat shield there and the strut race apart from that all the airbox and that looks standard standard intercooler there so you see there the front RS500 front bumper which will be worth a fortune by the way grills got all good money I don't know if this split is genuine it looks genuine there you can see see if I can zoom in on my laptop See there, the join. If you get a copy splitter, they tend to not have the join in, like the fiberglass ones, or at least the ones I've seen. Should have amber indicators, but like I say, it's just, this isn't like a Ford built car, this is just Dave's, Dave's thing, do you know what I mean? Like in 1992 or whatever, he just says, hey, will you, will you build us this? That looks like a genuine rear spoiler, RS500 rear spoiler. See there, the lower spoiler, that looks, that looks genuine. Bit of bump there. I'm just saying like what I expect if you're buying it about tax and all that carry on. Some more pictures further down, here we go, here we go. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. As you can see there, it's got the it's got like stainless steel exhaust, pretty standard on them. It's got the RS five hundred decals on the side. I believe this is just red chested as a Cosworth, not an RS five hundred. It's got the proper three door clocks, you can see the little boost gauge in there. There was only the three door Cosworth came with the boost gauge on the clocks there. The Sapphire had the same clocks but without the boost gauge. The Escort Cosworth had the boost gauge in the middle, like in the centre console bit. See there, not a, the interior, it's not a black leather, it's standard three door trim. Beautiful looking seats I think, like I love the three door seats. See there, the miles, 960 miles man. Didn't use this much did he? The wheels, looks like it's been refurbished at some point. Normally the Ford logo is diamond cut but it's missed there. I'm not trying to take anything away from the car, I'm just telling you what I see really. That's all it is. If I was looking at the car in person, these are just things I would notice with my own eye. I would like to have a look at it mind in person, I really would. 
flip through here, say what we've got, say what we've got. got some Toyo Proxies tyres on there. That looks like a later spec timing belt cover. That's not the uh, that's not an early spec timing belt cover, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Let's have a look, see what else we've got. Like I say, that little cover should be red with all this cut out, but easily fixed if you wanted to. To be honest, this car, it's probably worth the money in bits. Like, the, if it's all genuine RS500 kit, it's worth a lot of money. Let's have a flicker, let's have a flicker. See the splitter? I don't know what's happening with the splitter there. It looks like it's got a load of screws in. Mine hasn't got that. I think mine's got, like, one at the top here. Or maybe it's one at the bottom. It hasn't got four, I don't think. Nah, I'm pretty sure mine hasn't got four. It's got the ABS pump there, you can see. It's got all the ABS on. I'm guessing the turbo is going to be a T34 if it's running 360 brake horsepower. It's a shame they don't show the reg plate on the on here, mind. I would like to know what the plate is. That's the chassis tag. Motorsport. See if we can click on that. Hold on. See the Sierra Cosworth there. Right hand drives that. It's just a cool bit of Cosworth history to me. This just something different out there. Do you know what I mean? Just something a bit different to the norm. See that's all. Why is it missing the sunroof? Might be a non-sunroof model. Alright, that's it's got no sunroof. I'm guessing this could actually be like a motorsport shell. I'm guessing it's a genuine Cosworth shell, like with the wide tunnel. They've got a slightly wider tunnel on the Cosworths. We see that comes with a spare wheel and the boot. Got the covers on there. I don't know why that one's not fitted. I think they would have just put a couple of screws on and chucked that on. There, there's a low rear spoiler. If we click on this, you should be able to see. Right, so see this low rear spoiler here, right? Mine's got a genuine low rear spoiler one, a Cosworth one. There was like a, a Sierra, I think it was just a S, like a 2 litre Sport. And it came with this spoiler, but it didn't have the little cutout for the wheel for the wheel tail in the middle. It had like a little cutout. And if it's a genuine one, see this part number here, right? See if I can zoom in with that up. Or what? Ah, wait there, give us two seconds. I'll get that back up for you. Get that out of the way. Right, now, right, see this part number there, the O. 195. If it's a genuine RS500 low rear spoiler, it'll have a like a dash, like a minus sign, then a C after. That tells you it's a RS500 low rear spoiler. I th I'm pretty sure with it. I'm pretty sure that's what I should have. Mine has got that. Mine's like a Cosworth one, a 500 one. It's strange to put like the RS500, all the RS500 kit on then, not put the turbo on. But seeing that. Yeah, who am I to talk? Mine, mine's the same. Mine's the same. I haven't got the 500 t uh, turbo. But it's a cool little thing, like, cool little bit of history, I think. I've seen a lot of people saying they love this colour, which, hey, each to the one. See underneath there? Let's have a click on. Let's have a click on. We'll have a look. See, it looks like, looks like all the shells being painted in the magenta. Looks like a genuine bumper as well. Doesn't look like fiberglass or anything. Oh, is that a bit of fiberglass there? Hard to see. Could just be dirt on that splitter. Could be a genuine splitter. I wish I could go and have a look at it for you, but it's like fucking seven hours away or something. See, it hasn't got the RS500 intercooler. It's just got like three door intercooler up there. Could be a four wheel drive one. A lot of people put the four wheel drive intercoolers on them because they're a bit bigger than the standard three door one. There's a lot of screws in this splitter. There's also a part number stamped somewhere down here. It might be on the other side. I think it is. I think it's on the other side, so it could still be a genuine splitter. Looks like a fairly solid car, I mean 920 miles, but it does look fairly solid, doesn't it? Bit of surface rust, but see if we can see that split a bit better. No, that's no one there, is it? There's a dyno print out. It's had the injectors reconned. I mean if it's been sitting you would do all this, do you know what I mean? Looks like it's been a fairly well looked after car, there's a lot of quite a bit of receipts there for it. See a same well same welded shell. Built for Dave Brody of Brody Britain Racing. I also used a motorsport shell. Anyway, I just thought it was a little bit of interesting Ford history there for you. Thanks to Jamie for putting this on Instagram. I would never have seen it. Like I say, if it goes for the guide price of like 35 to 45, it's probably worth that in parts. But it's a bit of cool history. Do you know what I mean? And if you like the colour, then it's a cool car if you like the colour. The colour's not for me, but hey, each other one, isn't it? But anyway, thanks for watching fellas, I'll catch you on the next one, don't forget to subscribe.